Hey y'all, welcome back to another No Man's Sky video today, and today I mean we're going to be working on my A-Class Activated Indium Farm a little bit here. So let's definitely get, get right into that, because um, there's a storm coming. So basically, what I want to do here is kind of just expand the production and storage of my farm a lot, because I'm pretty sure I could get this to a whole nother level if I wanted to. So I'm just gonna add another row in here. And then we're gonna see what that does to production. Um, and then we're probably gonna add some storage. Let's see what happens here. Um, so I have to connect them all, of course. Oh no, why does this not want to connect to anything? Can I just go right ahead and connect it into the storage line? Alright, then it doesn't really matter if it's connected to everything else. But what we do have to do is get it into the electrical circuit now. And hope I don't overload it so I don't have to go figure out where my power is and add on to it. <laughs> It's looking like I'm going to have to add on to my power. Oh wait, maybe not. Just going to kind of be putting wires everywhere until everything works. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be functional. I'll we'll do probably another layer or two like this and hope I don't overload it. <laughs> It's always fun, right? Alrighty. Let's get all these in the storage line. I don't know that all of these are actually connected, but, you know, we'll see, I guess. And that was not the right one. There we go. This is a very tedious process, as you can probably tell I mean, by watching. And if you've done it, then you, then you really do know <laughs> how tedious this can be, uh, especially if you build like this. And Super uh, neat about it. So let's see what the production rate is now. We've got 5,000 an hour. The extraction rate's 52 hours. Holy moly. Alright. So we can probably beef this up a little bit. Oh wait, that's just in general. Let me go look at the storage and see what it says. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it's not not bad. Let's get back into our thing here. Density. All right. Now that the storm is gone. Let me see. Alright, so we're going to go back into build mode. And then I'm going to add on probably another layer or two here. Just go up a bit more and see what happens here. And then we're going to get the supply lines. Let's see how this goes. It won't connect to the other one, so I just gotta keep connecting them to the depots every time I add on. Hopefully they're working then. I 
put the line across all of the new ones, so that should be good. Can't connect to anything, so I'm just gonna go out on a limb and assume it's fine. We gotta power it all. This is very loud. About the max density over there, 60. Okay, never mind. So let's see what we got here. Time until full just went up. Don't ask me how that makes sense. 5,700 an hour. So yeah, it's really not going up much more. So I think what we do now is just start building a fuckload more supply depots. I can only do 25, well I'm going to have to fix that. Is that really going to drain all my metal plating I had saved up? Damn. Yeah, it is. Alright, so we're gonna go see if we can get more metal plating really quick. Where's my base? It's up there. Well, this will be a good chance to show you one of the new pets I got. <laughs> you could help me with this. Finally got a butterfly. Let's go back up to the base, dude. Oh, wait, no, it's over here. What am I doing? I looked right past it. Either way, I got the ride on the butterfly. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I know there's none in there. Um, what about in, in here? Selling metal plating, only 28. What is that BS? Alright, so there's like one or two things we can do really quickly to go get a, a fuckload of metal plating. And I can go up to my freighter and go to that trade terminal and buy as much as I can. Um, then I can go to the space station and buy as much as I can. Alright, come in. Come on, you can do it. The maneuverability is not very high on this thing yet. Not high enough. Oh, I can't wait to get the storage maxed on this thing. That would be so nice. Alright, so let's go up here and we are going to go get as much metal plating from the trade terminal as possible. Four. Okay. That's that's great. Um space station it is, I guess. <laughs> and if not, well, Guess some crafting. I didn't really want to burn through all of my ferrite dust on this farm today, but hey, we might be. So we will see. <laughs> How far do we got on the space station? One whole minute. Oh boy. Wait, is this a dead system? I don't even know if that's... Oh, jeez. Okay. So what we can always do to make this a little bit easier. Look at the economy. Yeah, it's an abandoned system. But this is a wealthy system. Perfect. Hopefully you guys got lots of metal plating. I'm gonna need it. I need all your metal plating, please. All of it. Every last one. Then I'm back over in Euclid. I kind of forgot that this farm was in Euclid. I know I should look for an S-Class one, but an A-Class activated indium is still pretty good. Like, I am very happy with that. Um, I know it would make this a lot easier, but we can see what we can do here. That's what I'm doing with today's video, just seeing what we can do. So I added more extractors, didn't really seem to do a ton, it definitely helps, but 
Maybe I'll just overhaul the storage a fuckload. See what happens. 139. That that could do. Yeah. Decent bit. Now, I want to try something and see if this works. If I reload my autosave now, can I buy more? Does that work? Or there still only be like four metal plating? Guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, we're finding out right now. <laughs> so no, <clears throat> it does not work. So with all that metal plating, I still don't think we'll have enough to do what I want to do. Um, guess I'm going to teleport one or two more times really quick. Why not? We'll go on a little adventure real quick. <laughs> we will go on a small adventure to buy everyone's metal plating. There's a three star. Give me all of your metal plating now. I need it. I went through all of mine. I had like half a storage locker of metal plating and I burnt through it already. That's crazy. Well, we will see what we can do with the storage. Um, if I can do more with the extractors, you know, definitely let me know down below. If you guys know. But, um, otherwise, I'm going to just overhaul the storage. And if I can do more with the extractors, I will come back and do that then. Off camera, if you guys let me know, like, hey, you could probably do more or explain it maybe. So I don't know that I understand it fully, but hey, we're doing it, we're building, we're messing with shit. <laughs> Might as well check the multi tool while I'm here, too. Might as well. Go see if there's any cool multi tools here. What is this system? A GEC? Probably not, but I guess we'll find out. Looks like it's some kind of pistol. B class. Yep, nothing crazy. All right. It's gonna fly straight across here. Like how he just like tenses up. Like, I don't know if I trust myself here. 138 more metal plating. And you've got the hydrogen jelly too. Heck yeah, I'll always take the hydrogen jelly. That can just get sent to the freighter though. Ooh, is there a ship coming in? I might be able to buy metal plating off them too. Just buying everyone's metal plating right now. That's a cool looking hauler. You geck in your haulers. I mean, I understand it. I really do. I'm not hating, I promise. I understand the need to have a million storage slots. It's great, right? Hey, dude, you look like you could have a lot of metal plating. Right? You could have a lot of it. Oh, yeah. Alright, so here's what we're doing. We're sending all the metal plating to the freighter, too. It'll get used. As long as this little shit don't fly away, we should be fine. Hey, dude, give me all your metal plating. I want it all. Oops, tabbed out on the monitor. Uh, I think I already bought from this guy, but I will double check. Yeah, I did, right? Yeah, you're the other guy I traded with. The other dude just took off faster. Damn. Oh, there's another guy back here. Don't fly away. Don't fly away. I want to buy your wares. An S-Class hauler just landed in front of me? What the fuck? Huh? Insanity. It's insanity, I tell you. That fast, just found an S-Class hauler. It's not max slots though, so it wouldn't make me con even consider getting rid of one of my royal ships. 
No, if I found another max slot hauler, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not saying, I can't promise I wouldn't do it. I'm tempted to buy it and scrap it, but I'm working on something else right now. So we're just going to part ways and let that Gek keep his nice S-Class storage unit. <laughs> um, go to my starship and just so I don't have to do all the annoying stuff to get back, make it super easy. I guess I could have just warped back right to the farm. Duh. I'm probably going to do that then because it'll be like two seconds once we get here. Activate the Indium Mega Quarry. Let's do it. All right. Let's get this. And it's storming again. Ah, it's clearing right when I get here. Heck yeah. That's better than my normal luck with this. Alright, so now what we've got to do is connect all of these into the supply line. That middle row is going to be difficult. I probably should have done them one row at a time. I'm going to do that that way now. Um, let me see. Yep. Yep. I'm not spending all this metal plating and chromatic metal on this farm to uh, fuck it up, are we? Make sure everything's connected. And then we're going to go for another row of supply depots. Get these mineral extractors working overtime right now. Connect that in to the supply line. So too high on all of these, I'm hoping should be overkill enough. <laughs> um, the extractors I might mess with again to see if there's mu anything more I can do to them. Not sure yet though, I honestly really don't know. Um, so I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna go run around that f that side again, even though it's super loud over there. You can't make me rich quieter. <laughs> Not that I need this exactly. I have my stasis farm, but I do like to just inventory dump activated indium on people. So it is pretty cool to do that once in a while. What's my new storage? Two hundred twenty-one thousand. Damn. So this will take nine hours to fill. Jeez. With all of this going on, that's nine hours, really? How much do they lose going straight up? 37, 37. What about the ones over here that are like 65, 67, 62, 55, 45. So if I were to add more, it would be like you want to do it like right here. Oh, I have to scan my hot spot again. 78. Oh, so it's just about max right here. All right. So this is the line I want to add on to if I add any more on. Literally right here. Line. Let's 
get that going up the tower. Then we can do some more electrical wiring here. Those are going over on their own then. Really hope I'm not fucking any of this up. Because I automatically with these just assume that anything without a cable attached is not doing anything. We're just going to be running some cables. They're not that expensive. So I'm going to hope it was just some uh, things not being connected that's kind of messing with the efficiency of this. I'm just going to go around and try to... Okay, I guess that's connected in now. I had a couple of buddies help me build this, so there's a good chance that we missed connections, I guess. No clue. I could just be doing literally nothing right now. Or I could be fixing it, so we'll see. power issues there. Yeah, I'm good. So it's still going to take nine hours, but we're just under 6,000 an hour. So I guess that's not horrible. Was any of this worth what I just put into it? No idea at all, really. Um, still got a ton of metal plating, though. I'm going to just chill here for a moment with the Sentinels F off. Oh really? That's how shitty the charge is? Really? this even work? Oh. Hmm. Okay. I'll just try to hide over here now. <laughs> Maybe I'll just add more onto the supply line. I don't know that me adding more on over here is going to do a whole lot more. I don't know. We can try it, I guess. We'll do like another tower or two. up some more of this metal plating here. Try to get that to that 6,000 per hour mark. connected that in. Okay, I thought that was a different one. Alright, then we'll just run the electrical wire down. That was not the 
right connection. There we go. It's hard to see with all the green dots, let alone it being in a storm right now. <laughs> Did we hit that mark yet? If I'm trying to hit that. Yeah, 6,000 per hour. This takes 37 hours to fill. Just over a day for probably, let's say, 300. It's probably going to be like almost 300 million. That's really not bad. Every 10 hours, I'm getting 100 mil then, almost. I mean, really not a bad farm. Uh, let's see what I can sell for. From what we already got. 148 mil, yeah. Or no. Yeah, 169,000 for 148 million. Boom. Yeah, I mean, I was hoping I could get a little bit more efficiency going on this, but it's looking like we're not, so that's all good. Um, gonna teleport back to my settlement, get my freighter back in that system, but thank you all for watching, honestly. I'm watching me just work on my farm for a bit. Um, you know, if you guys end up wanting the, like, any tips on how to set one of these up or find this, I can probably help answer some questions in the comments. Um, but otherwise, thanks, thanks, uh, whoa, if I can speak. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today's video. I'll see you on the next one. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.